Hi friends, in our previous tutorial we have seen how we managed a group of checkboxes and all. Now we'll see how we limit the selection of the user. So let's say I'm selecting this, then one more, then one more. Then I, when I try to move to the fourth one, I'll tell you that you can only select three, you can't select four. However, I can change this and go for one more. That is, uh, uh, that is allowed, but still I cannot exit uh, three here so I will be limiting the number of selection by user how to code this this is our editor we have a group of uh, check boxes which I have uh, name is common and the value we are serially 1 to 8 we are passing it but this number why you are used we will discuss it in second part and on click every check button will uh, execute the same JavaScript uh, function but it will pass a number of it so first one will pass 0 second one will pass 1 2 like this so this uh, set of check boxes uh, we are displaying inside a form we are given a table and in the script tag we have not written anything we'll code the JavaScript part let's just see this how this one looks here you can see this is the output you can see all the group of uh, check boxes I can select anything now there is no restriction because I have not put any uh, function to this to restrict it we'll go for that now we'll write the function first our function is chk control now and we are receiving the value j here why we are receiving we'll shortly discuss that so this is inside the function then we'll say total equal to 0 this is the where you will be holding how many number of checkbox are checked by the user now we'll go for a for loop saying that i equal to 0 starting from the first checkbox now we'll say i is less than document form 1 dot ckb is our checkbox then length property we have previous tutorials so we have discussed about the length property whatever uh, uh, the num total number of checkboxes will have so it should be less than that because it were starting from zero now i plus plus now this is the for loop let me close this fine so inside this for loop we'll say first that if document form one We'll check each and every checkbox now. Form one dot ckb. Now the here I will take i value. Now dot checked. Now if it is checked, what happens? We'll we'll add up total equal to total plus one because this is what we'll be doing it. Now we'll come out of the for loop now, and now we'll check what is the value of total. So we'll say if total is greater than 3 this figure we can change it also then we'll say a lot uh, please select 3 only or whatever message you want to give you can give that now and one more thing we have to do we'll say document that form 1 dot c k b j here we are using because the moment the user has exceeded three the fourth one when it checks we want to uncheck that one so that is why we have received the j value here and now that j will put it checked equal to check property equal to false so we'll uncheck it now that's all that's all uh, you can add one return also uh, return false if you want you can add it okay now i saved this refresh this let's see how it works one two now the third one i checked now let me go for fourth one yeah please select three only here the ok button is there i can so you okay now what i can do i can uncheck this and click one more so one two three i can change my selection but i can't exit the fourth one please select three only 